All right, welcome to my July 4th live item shop review video. It is currently 10.40 p.m. I'm super late to this shop, but we did have a good time celebrating July 4th. We saw a professional fireworks display. It was amazing. However, it all went downhill from there, so we came home, and if you weren't aware, I do have a lot of animals, tons of farm animals, horses, pigs, goats, chickens, ducks, the works. So during 4th of July, it's always a double-edged sword because fireworks are awesome, but none of the animals like it, including my own dogs. So before it got dark and before we left for the fireworks display, we put the horses and all the animals in the barn. So we came home, that part was good, but we came inside the house and it smelled awful. I'm talking like a dead animal. It was absolutely disgusting. And I had just cleaned the entire house before we left and lo and behold, one of my dogs, we still don't know which one, got into a fly trap attractant. Now, if you don't know what that is, because of all my farm animals, we have flies galore in the barn. So there's these fly traps that you can use, but you have to bait them. So you put the fly trap up, you buy this fly trap bait, it's attractant to attract all the flies, and you pour water on it and it smells to high heaven. Like, oh, it's just disgusting. It smells like rotten meat times a million. Like it's disgustingly gross. But that attracts all the flies, then they go into the trap, and then they're stuck. So we come home and we open the door and we're just bombarded with this awful smell. And one of the dogs had got into the trap attractant, which was on the table, by the way. So they had to have leaped up on the table, grabbed the fly stuff, shredded it, and it was just everywhere. The good news is it's all insecticide free and it's non-toxic. The bad news is it's the smell. It's awful. I can't get it out. It makes me want to throw up just thinking about it. So like I said, my 4th of July went from good to pretty bad. The dog is safe. The smell is not. Well, regardless, I'm going to do a rapid fire item shop because I am so late to this. Looks like we got the midfield strike bundle and the premier kickoff bundle back. These are the newest soccer skins and by far the most customizable. Lots of customization here. I did do a full gameplay and review when these first came out. You can pick a default color or you can make your own tons of options available. It's definitely the best soccer skin out there. Then we got the accessories, a back bling, an emote, and a pickaxe, all customizable. The emote actually works with whatever colors you pick for the skin, which is kind of cool. Hey, look at this. Some beach summer theme stuff have returned. Heist and the Beach Bomber Bundle. So Heist is a pretty sweet skin. He's also got the island style. One single back bling there, though. And the Beach Bomber Bundle comes with the skin itself with a secondary inked style, the newer style, that is the bright board, the bright stars, and the payload. Then the Renegade Flame Bundle. This is one of my favorite Renegade Raider remixes right here. The Blaze skin, plus the Red Hot Revenge, the Freshly Forged, and the Fiery Descent. We got the Battle Hound and Highland Warrior Bundle, plus the Storm Sigil and the Silver Fang. It's a pretty solid bundle. The Munitions Major is back. Ooh, Outcast is back. This is from Chapter 2, Season 1. She's got a secondary Alter Ego style. Remember that? The Alter Egos in... Season 1 of Chapter 2. The Prickly Axe is back. This is a fun one. 800. We got the Prismatic. A nice holographic glider. The Wiggle. 500. Chapter 1, Season 3. And then the Face Palm. Pretty solid 200 emote there. And then all the Marvel stuff making a return. Let's see if they took anything out or added anything. No. Well, you know what they did? They took the Witcher stuff out, didn't they? Yeah, it looks like they did. So the Witcher stuff is now gone. You got the Time for Lunch stuff all still here. And, of course, the brand new Locker Bundle with Nitro Jerry in it. And the special offers includes Razor Ray still here. And then the 4th of July stuff. So, pretty solid. Of course, the brand new Fireworks Team Leader style still available. And the Star Spangled Trooper plus Star Spangled Ranger. There you go. I hope you guys had a great 4th of July. Hopefully it's not as bad as the end of mine was. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is taper time.